I hear all these things today about we lack men, we lack men, there's no masculinity, there's no testosterone. And so people seek to cure that in the church by, I don't know, getting tattoos or something. You want to see a man strengthened? Then let him be strengthened by grace as he understands more and more of the love of God toward him. A love that cannot be altered. A love that brought about the cross where our Savior hung bearing our sin shut up in a room as billow after billow after billow of the wrath of Almighty God poured down upon Him until justice was satisfied and wrath appeased and the love of God could be poured forth in the gospel. Paul says, for the love of Christ controls us, having concluded this, that one died for all, therefore all died. That's the thing that I just, you can't, he died. He died. died for this where else can you go now you're a prisoner and a happy one I hate my prior life the atrocities the sins unmentionable without number but they do serve a purpose. He died for that. You see, that's what... I, I, Paul was a man of like nature. I am sure there were times when it was throw down the scrolls. Become a New Testament Jonah. Just run it's just too much but every time he got near the doorway it wasn't an ethic or a principle that halted him in his tracks it was this Jesus Christ died for me how can it be For the love of Christ controls us, having concluded this, that one died for all, therefore all died. And he died for all, so that they who live might no longer live for themselves. What a ludicrous thing to do. What a cheap way to spend a life. When it could be poured out on the one being that is infinitely worthy. For him who died and rose again on their behalf. On their behalf. Isn't there power in those words? Do you feel it? Do you see it? Put you in there. On my behalf. When we were still sinners, when we were helpless, he died. 